say you're a sales engineer with the goal of helping a company by providing a good or a service. You want to spend time understanding the needs of your customer and showing them exactly what you can offer, but you can be bogged down by endless emails and piles and piles of administrative tasks. Among that, sometimes endless amounts of questions. This is where generative AI can help. In this video, I'll cover the top five ways that generative AI has changed sales. Our first example is automated email generation. Just like the title says, this is going to be using generation. And you can use a variety of generative AI models to help you do that. You can craft a prompt by naming your persona, talking a little bit about what that person's role is, what might matter to them, as well as including what content or documents might be relevant for them. You can reference a document that they may have already read, include a link to a new page that they should investigate. And all of that fed into your prompt will provide you with a body of an email for you to get started with. From there, you should review and personalize the message to make it your own. Now, this will take the entire email generation process from potentially 30 minutes to an hour to just five or 10 minutes. Next is document summarization. Have you ever been in a meeting or had maybe someone send you an email and said, hey, watch this hour long video? Well, that's where meeting and document summarization can really help. If you have to join many meetings in a day, what if generative AI could take an hour long meeting and summarize it into a simple document for you to read and consume in just a number of minutes? You can even customize in your prompt exactly how long you have um, and exactly how long that summary has to be. So think about using this to send maybe key points to your clients um, to summarize a meeting that you join with them with action items and to really quickly and efficiently distribute this information directly to your clients. Our third example is RFP generation. An RFP stands for request for proposal. When going through a sales process, you might be asked to fill out a very extensive document with hundreds of questions otherwise known as an RFP. Using something called retrieval augmented generation, um, otherwise known as RAG, you can upload your trusted data to a knowledge database, which will feed responses and sources to your generative AI model. Now you can feed your hundreds of questions through the model to get an automated response and not just a response, but you can actually get a rating of either a high or a low confidence score on which questions you might need to review to make sure they're correct. You'll have a knowledge source to help you get these responses. And this will take a process that might have taken hours or even days or weeks to just an hour or a couple hours and also minimizing a team's time because one person likely doesn't know the answer to hundreds of questions. Similar to example three, we are going to talk now about knowledge search. Knowledge search allows you to truly become the SME or subject matter expert of a product. Many sales teams have to cover multiple different products all under a single person, which can be extremely difficult. But with knowledge-based search, you can actually upload 
all of your documents to that knowledge database, and you can use generative AI to more efficiently search for answers. You'll make sure a source is provided. So let's say a client asks you a question that you don't know about or you may have never received before. Now you can quickly look up the answer. You can go to the source. You can send the source document or even reach out to other experts that may have published on a similar topic. Finally, we're at example number five, which is script generation. Script generation is really exciting and it can be used in many, many different ways, right? And even coming from roles where historically you didn't write long scripts or really it was something that involved a lot of energy and time to do. Now we can use generative AI um, to write scripts scripts to practice um, or role play different sales roles to actually talk through how would I have this conversation with a client or how might I respond to this question or what questions might a client ask me or even use that to help to generate demos. Demos are absolutely key to showing and proving out a solution and my favorite part of every demo is actually telling a story. So connecting the user to the product and showing and telling why it matters. Well, generative AI can easily help us to generate personas for our demos and even make it more relevant to our client. Really, really creating a more compelling story to help us to ultimately close the deal and make it a success. Wow, we covered a lot. Which one of these examples is your favorite? There are many more examples of how generative AI can have a huge impact on sales. Sales teams are constantly challenged with this battle of staying relevant, driving new business, and providing all the updates along the way so their team knows what's going on. And Gen AI is making it so you can focus on what's most important, spending time talking to customers, and ultimately, closing deals.